YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael and today we have Esme and Simon and we're going to do some overland camping. So this is a bit of a change for us. We're going to try something slightly new. We've just taken the truck with us and we're going to do some basic overland sort of camping. See if we can carry everything in a road vehicle, camp in the wild and be comfortable. I'm trying to keep it as cheap as possible to see if it is something I want to get into. So I picked up some of the main components from Printus Auto because it's a great place to get cheap stuff, especially when it's on sale. And I have the tent as well as the refrigerator, which I'll show you shortly. So the plan is to set up a truck tent in the back of the box, get everything set up, nice chair, table, and make it super quick and easy. And then when we need to pack up, throw it all back in the truck and we can be off in another spot somewhere in the back of beyond. We picked a really nice spot by the river because today is so warm and it'll be great for the dogs to just be able to chill out and go in and out. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is roll back the tonneau cover and get the tent set up. I haven't set it up before. This is straight out of the box. So there'll probably be a few missteps, but let's see how difficult or easy it's going to be. So let's get started. This is here Ford F-150, 8 foot to 8 foot 1. Cool. So I might have to remove my full tonneau cover, but we'll see. And that's how it should look when it's done. That's acting as a nice sun shield. Uh, lots of space, full size truck box. Nothing to complain about there. I think the next thing is to throw my junk in, get that set up. I need to get hydrated. Ooh, it's hot today. 28 right now, Celsius. <clears throat> but not too bad a setup. I think I could probably do that in half the time easily. For now, I'm going to take the dogs for a quick swim and uh, get myself something to drink.
So this is the Alpi Cool I picked up from Prison Salto on sale. I think it was under $300. Um, it does have a big refrigeration unit on here. Runs off obviously 12 volt, but also 110. Has these digital controls. So I can set the temperature. Hopefully you can see that. It's probably strobing in the camera. You can see I've got a couple of cold snacks in that. Some chicken for the dogs, water, sandwiches. So lots of uh, lots of space. It's pretty big. So it's me touching the bomb, and it actually goes all the way under. So. Uh, has this nice wheelie handle and USB charger. You need to charge up some stuff. Obviously wheels on the back. What do you think guys? So that's my new purchase and uh, that'll be useful for lots of stuff. So it's a very nice day and I'm enjoying it very much. It's a nice welcome break from work and uh, I can just sit back, relax and literally watch the river go by. Oh, there's Simon. They literally both rolled in stuff. I had to take them in the river and wash them. They were not happy. But we've all got to share the same tent, so that's not going to be a thing. So there isn't any evening shots per se, as I went for a bit of a nap with the dogs and woke up in the morning. Hmm. So good morning. We had a very good night's sleep. I slept with the Helicon Tex Bushman Roll. And the dogs just slept on the mattress, the Teton XXL mattress. And we woke up to the sound of the river. So it's very really good. And I'll be getting up pretty soon to get my coffee, I think. Or I might just lie here for a while. Well, time's getting up to about nine o'clock and it's time for us to head out. I think this was a great spot to camp. It was actually really enjoyable. Um, the dogs had a great time going in and out of the river. And uh, I did too, so time to head back to reality. And until next time, take care. Well, I was pleasantly surprised by the truck tent. I'd always steered away from them because I thought they were too much trouble to set up, but comparing that to a rooftop tent, it's about five to 10 times cheaper. And although it does take a few more minutes to put up, I didn't find it that much of an inconvenience. So I'll stick with this solution for now and we all enjoyed camping in the tent together. 
And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.